Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, our topic today about uh, many, many places we heard many uh, leaders in this uh, uh, earthly heaven being hypocrite and liars. The Prime Minister of New Zealand, the US, uh, the United Nations Chief. You know, the whole world have to move and have to support support to the Muslims, but Christians are being killed every day by Muslims, and the United Nations chief did not even consider to say hello. United Nations chief, he is worried about one attack happened in Muslims after more than eight to ten thousand attack happened. In non-Muslims in just last year and not only that <clears throat> those who claim to be leaders not only they show support to the Muslims which is fine with me I mean show support to anyone is a victim but don't lie don't lie stop lying This guy is no different than the rest. All of them, they are a bunch of liars. He said, and I'm quoting what he said. That the stranger, a Muslim, when he saw a stranger walking into the Christ Church mosque, said, hello, brother, not knowing he was a terrorist. And the chief, he added, this is the spirit deeply embedded in Islam, a religion I so much respect. The face of love, compassion, forgiveness, mercy, and grace, the United Nations chief said. The guy, he said to him, hello, brother, because he did not know that he is not a Muslim. And you yourself, you just said that. You said not knowing he was a terrorist, right? <laughs> so what he was thinking, a guy coming to the mosque, what he will be? He must be a Muslim. Because a Muslim is not allowed for him to call somebody is not a Muslim a brother. Stop lying and saying this is the deep spirit of Islam. The spirit of love, compassion, forgiveness, and mercy, and grace. For how long? They will keep lying to us, speaking of lies with no shame. This is islamfatwa.web. And by the way, for some reason, if you try to click at the link, <clears throat> the link is not opening. I mean, I don't know how it opened with me. This is the link. <clears throat> I took a snapshot of the page anyway, so in case they will delete it later. A question. Can a Muslim say brother to a Christian or a Jew? Is it a principle uh, uh, according to Islam to consider them brothers? Answer. All perfect praise be to Allah, the Lord of the world. I testify that. Uh, here we go. You say shahada now. Now, hey, now the answer. A Muslim does not address a non-Muslim as a brother unless he is a biological brother from their mother or father or both. Stop. So what this is all this lie about the guy he called him brother, the guy he called him brother. He called him brother because he's coming to the mosque. He thought he's a Muslim. That is the truth. A Muslim, he cannot even respect non-Muslims. And we will show you. Actually, it's in the front of your eyes. So he he can call him only a brother if he is really a really brother, which means by birth. If this is not the case, then he does not address him as a brother. It is in principle to consider a Jew or the Christian or a, as our brothers, a rather it is incompetent to to hate them 
for the sake of Allah do you see to hate them do you see it guys I mean this is in English usually in English they try to cover up the, the, the their hate this is a website you know by the way if I open a website saying that we should hate Muslims what the Muslims will do huh what what the what the government of USA will do they will shut down my 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 uh, my page Muslims they can do that and nobody go after them and nobody says what uh, nobody will shut this website this is an official Islamic website is sponsored by the biggest sheikhs of the Abdul we have to what we have to hate them for the sake of Allah am I making things up am I making things up fatwa number three four three eight nine seven Do you see it people they should hate us for the sake of Allah and believe that they are on kufr which means they are in disbelief and it is forbidden to take them as allies or incline toward them Allah the exalted says what means the believers are not the believers are but brothers only the believers chapter 49 verse number 10 and here they are quoting for you one of the highest scholars of Islam there there is never brotherhood between a Muslim and a Christian true brotherhood is in Islam is based on faith Iman which means believe in Allah the exalted Allah, the exalted says, what means the believers are but the brothers, chapter 49, verse number 10. A believer cannot never be a brother for of a kafir, a disbeliever. It is impossible for the Muslim to describe a non-Muslim as a brother. Be he a Christian, a Jew, or a fire worshipper, or an atheist. It is forbidden to call non-Muslims as brothers under any circumstances. Do you see it? Hmm? Why they lie to us? Why they lie to us? The brother. Oh, we are brothers. Oh, the Muslim in the mosque, he called the terrorist a brother. See the spirit of Islam. Islam is a spirit of peace. Islam, all of it is about peace. Look what Muhammad, the leader of the terrorism and hatred in the world, what he said. Now the Muslim, they will say, this is a weak hadith. It's a weak. No, it is not. It's very fat. Allah Messenger said, do not proceed the Jews and the Christians with Islam, which means say, don't say peace to you. And if you meet them in the road, force them to the narrow alley, which means force them to the sewage. In the old day, the sewage used to be open channel or tunnel in the in the side of the road. So a Muslim here have a duty to humiliate the Christian. Read with me carefully. I'm not going to explain the hadith for you. It's explained by the Prophet and his followers. He said. There are narration on this topic on Ibn Umar, Anas, and Abu etc. He said, and regarding meeting, meaning of this hadith, do not precede the Jews and the Christians. Some of the people of knowledge said that it only means that it's dislike because it would be honoring them. And a Muslim were ordered to humiliate them. What, what, order to what? What the Muslims are ordered to do to the Christian and the Jews? To humiliate them, not to honor them. So not only they cannot call us brothers and sisters, no, they've been ordered to humiliate us. For this reason, one of them met in the on the path. Then the path is not yield for him because doing so would amount honoring them. So even if you see them in the street, a Christian and a Jew, you have to harass them and you have to harm them. 
and yet they lie to us and they say Islam is a spirit of peace this is the true spirit of Islam the brother the guy he said to the terrorist welcome brother what a big fat lie he said to him welcome brother because he thought he's a Muslim a guy coming to the church he is obviously Christian a guy entering a mosque obviously he's a Muslim that's why he said to him welcome brother now are we making things up this is Muhammad is talking what about the Quran or maybe the Quran too is not is not is not a true Islam maybe the Quran is a fake Islam if we go in the Quran chapter 5 actually why only chapter 5 let us go and see some chapter 3 verse 118 it says it clearly you cannot take friends from any except those who they are from your religion do you see it now this is a muslim tra translation this is big tell let us change it to yusuf ali if you like yusuf ali do you see it what about chapter 5 verse 14 where Allah he says he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment what about the chapter 5 verse number 64 where Allah he said he will spread hatred between the Jews too Am I making things up? This is your Quran. What about chapter 5, verse number uh, chapter 60? Uh, verse number 4. They take it as an example to say, Oh, Abraham, even Abraham, he said to his followers, the Abraham the Muslim, by the way, he said to his family, That I am, I wash my hands from you. I wash my hands from you. What about chapter 5, verse number 51? Hmm? Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. So why they lie to us and they give us a speeches about the spirit of Islam, the peaceful spirit of Islam and all the garbage. I saw in the news that the president of Venezuela, he watched a movie made by the by Erdogan gang. And he said, I feel like converting to Islam. Maduro is dying and his, his, and his government is collapsing. So he thought maybe I can make the Muslims support me if I say so. Convert to Islam. You are a garbage already. Your people, they are dying still, you will not leave the office. You are the same as Muhammad. The whole world have to die, you stay alive. They lie to us, they fool you, and they believe that you are strongly just a fool. A fool who have no eyes, a fool who cannot see, and a fool who cannot hear. And for sure, he cannot read. I'm not going to keep this video long so you can download it and you can share it because I believe it's very important don't make them fool you my friends Islam is a very hateful religion take not Christians and Jews as a friends he didn't say they, they, they might say to you by the way a Christian at that time it's a lie this is about all the Christians all the Jews and even even the atheists even anyone this is why here the fatwa it doesn't say the Christians at that time it says it's not principle somebody asking in the year 2017 not the year 17 after Christ is it a principle to take a Christians and Jews as a friends it is not 2017 you can call somebody a brother 
only if he is your brother in the, in from birth by biological blood otherwise he is not your brother he is your enemy Muslims only can call Muslims brothers and by the way it's forbidden it for the Shia to call the Muslim Sunni brothers too for they are not believers and it's forbidden for the Muslim Sunni to call the Shia brothers too for they are not believers so the hatred of Islam expanded even to Muslims depend in their sect but all the Muslims agree that anyone who don't belong to their sect he is not a brother this is why Muhammad himself he said that my nation will split into 73 sect don't call it please unless you are a Muslim are you a Muslim are you a Muslim yes okay what do you think about your prophet saying don't take Christians and Jews as a friends okay well um, the hadiths nothing is as Quran is like um, how do you explain it a hadith can't stand a chance against the Quran yet right Hmm. So what was that? What does that mean? Okay, so the Quran says you will surely find the most intense of people in animosity toward the believers to be the Jews and those who associate others with Allah, hmm. and you will not, and you will find the nearest of them in affection to be believers who say we are Christians. Hmm. That is because among them are priests and monks, and because they are not arrogant. Okay, and and Muhammad here he's trying to divide the Christians and the Jews. He start killing the Jews first. He's saying to the Christian, "Don't worry, I'm not going to kill you." But later he said in the Quran the same Quran you are reading from chapter 5 verse number 51 that the Christians and the Jews are not your friends so if the Christians are nice to you that's mean we are nice to you and the Quran saying to you that we are the nice it's not you who is nice to us and you cannot be nice to us the Quran says oh you believer take not the Jews and the Christians as a friends and this is the Quran no friend. allies as in war no my friend here we go this is your translation Allies. Secondly, hold on, hold on. Let us go with you. Let us go with your your answer. Allies, if somebody want to help you to protect you, how he cannot be your friend? Somebody want to die and fight for your sake. He is not a friend, but he is just an ally. How that? How funny that is. Somebody okay, want well, to. Somebody want to hold on. That, somebody uh, want to protect you. Someone, no, 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 no. Don't tell me. This is not. Tell no, me about this time. No, they broke treaties. They broke treaties. Really? No, no, no. Nobody broke a treaty yes. with Muhammad. This is a lie. First of all, he's talking about the Christians and the Jews, not about specific tribe. The Christians and the Jews and the Christian, they never broke any treaty with Muhammad because he never have a treaty with them. So stop lying. Secondly. When you say Christians and Jews, that's many Christians and Jews, not a tribe, not a group. Anyone he is a Christian, anyone he is a Jew. And if you don't believe me, we can show you interpretation of your scholars. Which one you choose? Hello? Hello? You want to call a friend? Which scholar you think he is going to give us the correct interpretation for this verse? Stop lying, my friend. You're the only, okay. No, let, you're let, the only liar. Okay, really. let me let me ask you. Know, you can you think? Like okay, hold on, hold on. Everybody will laugh. Innocent. Everybody will laugh and at you in a second. No, no. Okay, uh, everybody will laugh at you in a second. The hadith I showed that your prophet saying you have to harm the Christians and the Jews. Is that a lie? Well, not if hadiths. If it's, it's, okay. have, 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 answer me. Is that a lie? Okay, so uh, Muhammad said that if there's a hadith that you find yourself far away from, I am as far away from it as you. And if you find one that you uh, that is close to you, I'm as close. To, I'm closer to it than you. So the Quran so says in chapter nine. The Quran, Quran says the, the Quran says that Allah will spread hatred between the Christians until the judgment day, chapter five, verse fourteen. So how this there will hadith, be a war? There will be a war. What war? This is Allah will spread hate. Are you are you stupid or what? Here we go. The verse in the front of you. It says. Allah will spread hatred and enmity. It is Allah doing that. What kind of God? He wants to spread hatred and enmity between the Christians, and why? If I don't, you can you find a person more qualified than me to argue with. Suddenly you are not. A, suddenly, not, like, suddenly you have. A, no, suddenly you have a flat tire. Suddenly, a second ago so, you was you were a big balloon. Now you have a flat tire, and you do not know how to answer. You answer me now. Why tomorrow? You hang up the coward.
Not only you are not a qualify, you are a fly. Until the day of resurrection, it's in front of you. This is not for temporary group there. Stop lying. Your God is the devil who spread hatred and enmity. If the Christians are bad, the Jews are bad, spreading hatred will make them better or will make them more evil. If they are evil, what kind of God he will make people more evil? Is that will fix the society? Is that going to be for the benefit of mankind? And if we are evil, why you quote for me the other verse saying that the Christians they are they are nice to you because they were nice to them. This is the truth. The Christians always nice to everybody before Islam and after Islam. And you are the one who is not nice. And this is why your prophet he says when you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, you have to humiliate him. I mean, those people, they have no dignity and they are willing to lie open wide with, I mean, I don't understand even how dare you to fabricate and to say this is not what it says. This is a chapter nine. And this is the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. Non-Muslims are nudges. They are dirty. They are filthy. They are disgusting. They are the worst of the creatures. The verses all over the Quran. And not only that, it says that you as a Muslim, you have to make us pay money or we die, which means pay or die. Pay or die. Why? Because we refuse to accept Muhammad to be a prophet. We always accepted him to be a false man. Read carefully with me. Fight against the Christians, the Jews, until they pay the jizya. Muhammad is a gang man. He accepts us not to worship Allah as long as we pay. It's okay. A very clear proof that he is a scam because a man you pay him he let you worship the God if he is a prophet he wanna kill anyone who don't believe suddenly if we pay him you can live and then here you will see it says that the messenger uh, said it clearly that Allah commanded the messenger to fight the people of the scriptures, all the people of scriptures, Jews and Christians. On the ninth of year of Hijrah, he prepared his army to fight the Romans. It's not the Roman they fight Muhammad as they lie to us. It is Muhammad who sent a letter to the Romans says, Aslam Taslam, which means convert or die. And then he sent his army there, but the funny, the funny, he could not make it. He ran, he, he came back. So Allah, he ordered him to go attack the Roman, but Allah did not give him victory. The victory happened after Muhammad died. Then here you will see, it says that they have to pay the jizya. What is the jizya? It's a penalty for they choose not to embrace Islam. And how they pay it, they have to be humiliated, defeated, disgraced, humiliated, Therefore, the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhimma, which means the Christian and the Jew, or to elevate them above Muslims. For they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. Muslims recorded by Abu Huraira that the Prophet said, don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christian, and if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the most narrow alley. This is why the leader of the faithful, Umar al-Khattab, may Allah pleased with him, demand his will and, and will known condition to be met by the Christian, these conditions to be ensured to in, that ensured the continued humiliation, the regression and, and, and disgrace of the Christians. Do you see it? They lie to you and they say to you, Islam have a spirit of peace. When we have all their books in the front of our eyes. Abdul, there is one reason you are no match and you are not qualified because your lies became so big and you yourself, you could not carry it. So you hang up.
Islam is a big fat cult and anyone he says something else he is a big fat liar it's a book of hatred a book of violence a book of anger a book of discrimination a book of of of, uh, of uh, child abuse a book of women abuse every abuse in the world it is in the book of Allah and not only that the Muslims are so proud they say we are the best of mankind because Islam is a fascist religion look what the what Muhammad he said that you are the best of mankind chapter 3 verse number 10 this is exactly what the fascists they claim they are the best of mankind and why they are the best what does that mean does that mean they will make electricity for us is that they will make uh, make cars for us is that because they will benefit us no they will bring you and the chain around your neck until you embrace Islam do you see it this is a fascist fascist religion every Muslim he believe he is the best and you are nothing you are garbage you are not a believer you are dirty and the Quran says that in, nine, in chapter 9 verse 28 that none Muslims are najis which means they are filthy dirty this is why they have signs in Saudi Arabia says Muslims only non Muslims they imagine there's highway for Muslims and highway for non Muslims this is how filthy the cult is I'm not going to keep my video going long please download the video and share it with your friends and until we see you soon time soon soon again please download the video trust me those videos they save a lot of people from the lies as you see the media is 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 uh, is showered by lies if we go right now and see this article here published by who how many you will see everybody saying the same everybody saying the same lie we the people we say the truth we are not there we are not in number one page in the internet we are not in number one tv we are not the one people they listen to us so if you don't help us to spread the truth who is going to help how many people they you they read this in associated press that the u.s chief he said that this is the true spirit of islam he said to him welcome brother how many people will hear this this is is the spirit deeply embedded in islam religion i so much respect shame on you filthy chief of lies corrupt people corrupt governments corrupt corrupt leaders everybody speak like a frog but net you cannot hear somebody speaking the truth and if somebody speak the truth they silence him and if you speak the truth they say oh you are the one spreading hate when you show them the hatred in their books it is you who spread the hate can we take non-muslims as a friends fatwa number three four eight nine seven can we can non-muslims call in non-muslim brothers the answer confirmed you cannot call them brothers for they are not they are our enemies and we cannot even respect them and even we cannot give them a good jobs and even we cannot let them walk normally in the street if we meet somebody in the street we have to humiliate him that is the truth where nobody wanna speak about it in the world of hypocrisy the more hypocrite you are the more nice you are and guess what I am not nice and being hypocrite will make me nice I will never be nice who like it like it who don't like it I don't care thank you very much for watching please invite your friends next time let them join us and subscribe and this video please download it immediately after we finish because it's not going to stay in my page for long and again this is the page for the fatwa for those who they are seeking the fatwa the one we we just were mentioning in the screen I don't know if you can open the link from your side if not uh, maybe you can take a snapshot
actually I have a snapshot already posted of this web page in uh, uh, in Batterion. You can get it from there if you like to copy it. Thank you very much, guys, for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And see you. Bye-bye.